in this video we are going to draw a cam here is the question a cam profile is required which will impart motion to a knife edge follower it's a knife edge follower draw according to scale 1 is to 1 a full profile of the disc cam using the following information minimum diameter is 30 stroke height 35 millimeters performance the rise is 38 no the rise is 35 here it's 35 rise of 35 millimeters in 180 degrees of cam rotation according to a uniform acceleration and rotation motion it dwells for 30 degrees of cam proof rotation it falls 35 millimeters in 120 degrees of cam rotation according to constant velocity motion it dwells for 30 degrees of cam rotation rotation of the cam is clockwise show a displacement diagram and all construction lines the displacement diagram must be drawn on the left hand side of the cam profile the roller follower need not be drawn so this is how we are going to draw our cam profile now the question is saying we must draw the displacement diagram on the left hand side so we are going to place our displacement diagram this side then the cam profile disk we are going to put to this side so let us draw the displacement diagram we are going to draw a line 120 millimeters then we are going to draw the lift the lift is 35 millimeters so we are going to draw 35 millimeters now we are going to draw vertical lines spaced at 10 millimeters so from here to there we say 10 millimeters 10 millimeters from here to there is 10 millimeters Then we want to label 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 60 degrees here. From 0 to 360. 0, 30. 60. now it is going to rise for 35 millimeters in the 180 degrees of cam rotation so from 0 to 180 is going to be constant acceleration and retardation so we have to construct a cave for constant acceleration and radiation from 0 to 180. So this is how we do it. The first thing when you are doing a constant acceleration and radiation cave, we are going to divide this line into six equal parts. So this is how we divide this line into six equal parts. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to draw a line from this point at any angle. We're going to divide into six equal parts so this is the first part
this one two three four five six we divided that line into six equal parts then we are going to join this last six point the end of the line that you want to divide then we are going to draw lines which are parallel to this one passing through these points then we are going to draw lines horizontal Then from there we are going to draw line from zero to touch this line of 90 degrees here. Then from zero there, from zero to 90 degrees. So these are the points that are going to give us the cave. This point we're going to draw from here to there to there to there to here to there to there. This is our for constant access in interpretation then the same it dwells to the 30 from here to there it's dwelling from 210 420 is 1 2 3 120 is going to be here so it's going to be falling with constant velocity here then it's going to dwell on the last 30 degrees so we are saying that from 0 to 180 is constant access and interpretation, which is this one. From 180 to 210, which is 30 degrees, is this one. It's a dwell. From 210 to 330, which is 120 degrees, is going to be uniform velocity. This is uniform velocity. Then from 330 to 360, it's going to be a dwell. Now, we want to draw the game profile on the right side here. The first thing is we are going to extend this line and also the line for the rise, extend it. Then we are going to draw the center line for our game. the center line of our cam. Now they are saying the minimum diameter is 30. So we are going to draw a circle here. 30. So we measure 15 from here to here it's 15. Then this is the circle of 30. Single line of the circle. Then we're going to draw another circle here. Now we are going to divide this circle into two of equal parts. One, two, three, 
we want to number our circle. We are told that the cam is moving in the clockwise direction. So cam is moving clockwise direction. Our numbering is to be anti-clockwise. So we are going to number anti-clockwise. Now we want to transfer these points where the cave is meeting 30 degrees we transfer it to this side to draw arcs from these points that we've transferred. The point that we've transferred we're going to draw some arcs. This we are going to do an arc 30 then it's making 30 there for 60 this is the point So this is the points for the constant acceleration and retardation. Now let us outline the curve from zero t twenty t sixty t ninety. Then from 180 to 210 is going to dwell. So we're going to do a KV. Then from 210, we're going to transfer the points 240. We do a line here. Then 270 is this one, then 300 is this one. Three hundred thirty is this one, then three hundred sixty is this one. Now we want to draw the cave. This one. This is two forty. Two seventy. Or three hundred. It's from this point to this point. 
for trajectory is from this point to this point then from 360 is this point now we want to draw the arc for uniform velocity we are going to join this point to this point to this point to this point to this point then the last point is going to be a dwell a dwell from here to there so this is our cam profile and the displacement drawing Thank you for watching the video.